guys welcome back to my channel we have made it to 37 weeks pregnant and boy there is still so much to try to get done before this munchkin arrives we're tackling real life messes uh, we are definitely tackling my floors because they need it and it's time to pack the hospital bag so let's go because every time I bump right into you I get all tongue tied But I'm way too shy I can't just go around admitting that it's you I like I wish that I Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Clean the Day, kind of like Seize the Day. My name is Erin. I am a wife and a mom. My husband and I have been married for six years. His name is Chris, and we have two daughters that are four and two, and baby number three is coming in just two short weeks. Oh my gosh, we are so excited. Around here, if you're new, then around here you're going to find real life everything this is a real life middle class house real life messes and um you know what i'm here to tell you that it's okay if your house is messy because it just happens it gets that way so i'm tackling uh all of the messes that have been kind of forgotten and i'm just doing it at my own speed because for those moms who have you know had the same problem at the end of pregnancy I can't seem to go very long without having to sit down and put my poor swollen feet up because they hurt so bad but you know what it's completely okay there's a light at the end of the tunnel and baby boy is going to be here before we know it but that's kind of how I break it up every day I try to tackle just a couple of extra things to help everybody including myself feel a little bit more prepared about the changes to come so on top of basically keeping the kitchen going and the laundry going um, other things kind of get left behind and so today living room floors dining room and at the end of the video we are going to start putting the hospital bag together so stay tuned for that For those of you who don't know and haven't been around, besides our lovely, wonderful girls, we also have three cats. Uh, I wish I could seem to get a better vacuuming routine down, but right now, this happens about once a week. Uh, it works. I would rather, you know, things were vacuumed more regularly, but once a week, for uh, the couch especially, has been great. It's been working really well for us. I am not bending over. I'm not doing a lot of floor scrubbing. Uh, that's just not possible for me right now. I'm using the Method uh, wood cleaner just to wipe down the surfaces of these wood pieces. They're not going to be perfect. Um, I just try to keep clutter to a minimum at this point. Um, and that's, that's pretty much that. And so this was, that was day one. This is day two. And day two was all about the floors. So I got out my Tinco, which I absolutely love still, although I'm starting to feel like she's not working the way she's supposed to be. Um, the first couple rooms I did turned out fantastic. They looked great. They smelled great. The floor just looked wonderful. However, I noticed as I kept going, um, the, the Tinco was leaving, you know, puddles of dirty water, uh, that I'd have to go back over 
and overall just seem to be struggling to keep up let me know if y'all have a tinco this is like the first one or the second one so it is also the cheapest one and i know you kind of get what you pay for let me know in the comments if you have ever used this or if you've ever had any kind of problem like that. At this point, maybe in the next few months, I'll be in the market for either a newer version or maybe I will go with the Bissell. I don't know yet. Let me know what you think in the comments. Alright, I could just tell at this point that my poor Tinko is getting tired, but I managed to finish the kitchen floor. I used a straight edge razor blade around the house on the floors to get stuck on messes and the girls' stickers up off the floor. Works great, you just kind of have to be gentle. Um, obviously, you don't want to damage the floors. And then I'm going to go right into packing the hospital bag. So, um, next week will be all meal prep. So stay tuned for meal prep. And if you like this kind of content, please like this video and hit the subscribe button and come back and join me every week um, as we get ready for baby and welcome new baby into the family. We go to New Jersey, your eyes say I'll be worried. You said it was nothing, but I know you get buried. The sorrow of us, the sorrow of us. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Um, today, I want to talk about the hospital bag and what is going to go in it. So, first of all, I have here the overnighter or the weekender, the weekender bag from Sam's Club. The last time I was at Sam's Club, this was still available, and I can tell this is going to be a bag that I'm going to have for a long time and use for a long time. So it has a storage compartment on the bottom, which I love for shoes or flat packing cubes, lots of side, side storage. It even has a travel pocket so you can put it on your luggage in the airport okay quickly on the inside there's a pouch for your electronics which I will not be taking a few more pouches a big zipper lots of space it does come with strap which probably won't use but I'll hold on to it just in case okay all right, so that is the bag that I am taking. So let's talk about what I'm going to be taking to the hospital. And I am a third time mom now, so this is gonna look different for everybody. And there's gonna be a lot of opinions about it, but I don't take much because I just think it's a waste. The hospital supplies you with almost everything you need until you're ready to go. So I pack very minimally for the hospital. So the first thing that I'm going to pack, but not pack right now, is going to be 
my overnight bag. Um, this is from TJ Maxx and it's by Joan and David. And it looks like a great bag. It comes with, it opens into a nice big space with compartments and it came with these cute little bags for organization, I guess. But that will be super minimal. I will probably take a very small amount of shampoo, conditioner, body wash just for my first shower, uh, which is usually, I don't know, it's usually the second day. Uh, and then I will take a uh, very uh, minimal skincare and makeup because it's just really not necessary. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I don't really care what visitors think of how I look. <laughs> so I've just had a baby, so it really doesn't matter. Um, and also because it's Florida and I'm experimenting a little bit with more skincare and less makeup because it's so hot outside, everything just kind of melts off of the face. So um, very minimal makeup, some little bit of skincare, just a way to look fresh on that last day. Um, I love to put a little bit of makeup on because then they come in and they go, okay, yeah, you are ready for us to start the discharge process. And it's, it's like a little cue. Um, and it worked beautifully for my first two and I'm hoping it will work for this one too. So, um, and then essentials, toothbrush, um, deodorant. That's the very last thing I'm going to pack. I realize I could go into labor at any time, but we do have an official date for a C-section, which is in two weeks. I'm not going to share the actual date. Um, so I'm kind of feeling like I can put this off a little bit. Okay. The next thing that I will absolutely be taking with me are my rubber shoes for the shower. It's just a good thing to do. You're going to be in a strange place. I know the shower's clean. I know that the housekeepers in hospitals work so hard. I'm gonna wear shoes in the shower. Okay, so for baby, I only have a couple things because the hospital will supply um, like a little half onesie and that's what T's gonna be in for the first couple of days. He'll probably be wearing that in his first picture and we will just put this super cute um, muslin wrap on him and, and swaddle him up for his first picture. It will be adorable. Otherwise, I chose really simple clothes. I have two tiny little newborn outfits that are two pieces. Two pieces is key. It's just so much easier in the hospital, um, but he might not ever actually get dressed in the hospital. He might just be in the hospital onesie and I'm completely fine with that. So I also put two sleepers in two different sizes. One is newborn and one is zero to three because you never know the exact size that that baby's gonna be until they're here. And I, you know, don't wanna go to the hospital with something that doesn't fit them. Um, it really doesn't matter, I suppose, ultimately, but I grabbed two that I really like in different sizes just to see. So that's it for baby. I'm not taking diapers, I'm not taking wipes. The hospital will have all of that there for us. For me, I'm taking a, Minimal undergarments because on my last baby, I'm pretty sure I just wore a hospital gown for the first 24 hours. I just kicked the camera. <laughs> um, so I'm very minimal undergarments. Um, nursing bra, definitely. I might not even reach into the bag for anything for myself. Um, if I do, I have this sort of t-shirt nightgown that has buttons down the front for easy nursing access. Going home outfit is this pretty sort of rosy with black trim, night clothes, button down front. Super simple. I don't want to get complicated in any of that. Now we are going to go prepared just in case there's anything extra that baby needs. Um, there's a few other things going on that we haven't really shared yet. Uh, where we feel like we might need some extra supplies. So I'm going to be taking my wearable breast pump from Mom Cozy, and I'm gonna take that just in case he has to go to the NICU for observation. Um, they will have a breast pump available for me to use, but this will be a really good opportunity for me to learn how to use mine, and I'll have the instructions and whatnot. And also for me they will have supplies for me but moms if you know you know that's all i'm gonna say there i'm gonna leave that right there i will be taking my boppy nursing pillow because I, and obviously i will have a cover on it i just can't get to them at the moment um 
because that's just helpful. There's one last thing that I think I'm gonna take. I'm not 100% decided on it yet. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and take our little um, monitor outlet sock because I'm gonna be sitting in a room probably by myself a lot and I can take the instructions, I can download the app and I can spend a little bit of time learning how this works. Um, we got this just in case baby really needed a lot more uh, support and being monitored. Uh, we do have an old one that we used for the girls called Sense You. I will link it in my description and I'll link this in the description as well. I like them both. The Sense You was awesome for the girls and I am prepared to love this. So hopefully I will. And that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and throw some of this stuff into my hospital bag. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I'm trying so hard to keep the videos short and sweet and a little informative and definitely full of motivation. But I love this bag so much, I can't even tell you. I am going to show you what it looks like all packed. I feel silly. I've never done this, but I love it. It looks so good. It's so easy to carry. I'll give you a cute little bump. There you go. And thank you so much. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.